Hi everyone. If you were to ask me what was the one thing I created this year that had the biggest impact on the entire school, I would think about it for a minute and then I would tell you, you know what, my all-in-one binder had the biggest impact on my students in the school this year. So what's an all-in-one binder? Well, I created this originally for my kids who have autism spectrum disorders and need things like a visual schedule and token reinforcement and visual behavior reminders. And some of them even need a core communication board. So what was I going to do instead of having things all over their desk? You know, token board over here and a visual over here and a social story over here. And it was just driving me crazy. So I was like, you know what? There's got to be some way to put this all together in one amazing package. And then uh -uh, I came up with a great idea and it has been beautiful this year. What I came up with, I call the all-in-one binder for autism. Although it doesn't have to be used for kids with autism. It could be used for any kids from benefit who benefit from these kind of visuals. What we have on the front is we have a schedule that you can put in from one up to you know five or six things. We have a what you're working for, I am working for, and an area for tokens at the bottom. So let me show you what's inside this binder. I have a handy dandy closure because we found sometimes icons were falling out from the binder, which was a problem. Okay, so I'm going to open it up, and on the inside cover, I have some behavior visuals, and these are the things that we need to refer to all the time. So we have them easy access. You can get right to them right on the front cover, and down below, we have some Velcro with our tokens that the kids are earning, um, so those can be easily available. Inside, you are going to find some pages. So you have a schedule page and these are the words that the kids are going to come up with that they have on their schedule. So you know first I'm going to go to lunch and then I'm going to do table work and then I'm going to go to the computer lab. On the next page, oh and if you need more space for schedule words I just put velcro on the back for those extra words. On the next page, we have our instructions. Now, instructions to me is kind of like your mini schedule. So let's say that you are gonna work on a craft project and instead of having your kid be like, what do I do first, what do I do next? You just actually take off those things and put them on the front of the binder. So first you're gonna write your name and then you are going to color and then you are going to clean up. I don't know. So I'm just making that up. So then you would take your your binder and you would go to the front and you take off your main schedule pages. And I use really heavy duty Velcro this time because I was tired of things falling off, but I wonder if that was a mistake. So we got name, color, clean, and now you have a mini schedule for doing one particular work task. So this works really well for schedule for the day or just for mini schedules. Okay, so let's go over here. So those are in our instructions. Then you turn the page again and you have your incentives. So these are the things that your child likes working for. So I put a whole bunch of them on here because I don't know what your kid likes to work for and what you have available. Of course, you only want to have things on here that are actually available. Um, and so the kiddo would take the thing and be like, I'm really working for the car today. And then that kiddo would put it on the front of their binder right here. And then as they earn tokens towards their car, once they get to the set amount of tokens that you've put down, you can put down any amount. I happen to put down five here. You could put down six by putting your Velcro right on the stars. You could do 10 by having one above and one below the star. You get to choose, it's really flexible. And then the kid will earn that car time. But wait, there's more, right? So this is a binder. You can put things in a binder. After the um, incentives page, I tend to stick some other things that my kids really need. So for example, most of my kids have some social stories in there. Now, the social stories are not included in this product. This is something else I sell called um, social um, and behavior coloring pages. But this is just to give you an example that I put them in a protector sleeve, I put them in here and we can review them. We also have in these binders feeding protocols and behavior escalation cycles. So that way any adult who's near the child can quickly grab the binder and see what it is that kid is supposed to be using. So I got my social stories in here and then I have some routines. Now routines are the things that you're going to put together that 
always go in the same order. So this routine is for the very morning for one of my students. So he puts his stuff in the lunch tub, he puts his folder in the bin, he puts his coat in the cubby, he hangs up his backpack, he chooses hot or cold lunch, and then he chooses his morning work. So what you would do here, so they're on strips this time, not on individual, they're on strips. And if you wanted your kiddo to be doing that particular routine first thing in the morning, all you have to do instead of uh, putting all those individual icons on is put the entire strip on. And then when they get through the entire strip, then you're like, oh, you're done with that routine. And you take it off and you put whatever else you want on the schedule there. So that's the routines portion. And you can see in here, I put the routines as um, strips also because that's easier for me to deal with. On the back of your binder, you're going to have your emotions, your eye feels. And I did correlate these colors to be like zones of regulation in case you know about that program and use that. And if you don't, that's okay. So these are different feelings. And these are four things that your student can learn to do when he or she needs to calm down. So I refer to these for the kiddos. I'm like, ah. Oh, what, are the, what can you do right now? You're feeling really upset. What can you do right now? And then these are just four ideas for what they can do next. In addition, I always choose binders that have pockets because what we're gonna do in those pockets is most of my kids are on some kind of behavior point sheet and we stick those point sheets in there or some other little um, scripts. Sometimes I have social um, narrative scripts that I'll stick in there as well. So it's really handy that way. Now, again, Binders are awesome, and so are the ones, especially the ones that have these clear sleeves on the front and back. So what I do on mine is I actually put a core board on the back. Again, the core board is not included in this product, but you can get it from me. Um, it's called core boards. <laughs> and that way I can use this core vocabulary with any of my kids, even the kids who have verbal skills, really benefit from the visuals on the core board. So as you can see, it is quite a little involved system all packed into one and it works beautifully with my students who have some pretty significant disabilities but are still mainstreamed in the classroom. They need something that's really portable to take with them around the school for their schedule, their behavior, and their communication needs. And you can just pick this up and carry it anywhere. We call it our binder. So the kids are like, get your binder. I need to get my binder. Where's your binder? Oh, my binder's over here. And then they really start to take ownership. So I made sure to make things editable. So your name is going to be editable. And there's sections in here that are opportunities to make all sorts of editable um, icons. So you can choose your own icons. You can use photos if you want. And the routines page also gives you the opportunity to put in your own icons or your own photos. As long as you're using Adobe Reader, you should be able to put in any photo or any clip art of your own uh, to supplement that. I hope you love the all-in-one binder as much as my, I do and the entire staff at my school and that it serves you really, really well.